Hello all of you lovely people, Jules here for WhatCulture.com and today I have a absolute doozy for you because we're going to be talking about incredible video game moments that were created by accident and trust me, from somebody who is 33 and has been reminded every single year by their parents that he was indeed an accident, sometimes great things can come from them. As I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com and these are 10 incredible video game moments created by accident. Number 10. How about a kiss? Zelda Faces of Evil Although this moment was intentional and very definitely a part of the game's story, Philips and Animation Magic, the studio that created the awful, horrible, disturbing, but utterly brilliantly baffling animations for the CDI games, could not have known just how infamous and utterly reviled this line would become in the years that followed. When the Zelda franchise was licensed to Philips for a series of CDI games, fans were treated to something, well, truly horrific. Awful graphics, terrible gameplay, ludicrous storylines, and worst of all, voice acting scraped from the very, very bottom of the barrel, which pretty much justify every fan's reasoning when they say these games do not exist and are not part of the official Zelda canon. But in amidst all of this is Link. Now we've had Toon Link, Deku Link, and Wolf Link over the years, but the CDI games, well, they gave us petulant sex pest Link. This giggling idiot who must have taken a massive blow to the head at some point can be seen pestering Princess Zelda for a kiss and then covering his ridiculous snickering face when she spurns his creepy advances. Now not to get into anything too heavy, but that is not cool, Link. Not cool at all. But yeah, thanks to this absolute train wreck of a subsection for the franchise, we get this Link that will unfortunately live on forever. Number 9. Welcome to Die – X-Men Arcade now, we're no doubt all very much aware of the potential for humour in literal translation errors from the Japanese titles into Western languages and vice versa. I mean, we've done lists on them before. Because for every piece of poignant prose that we get, there's an equal and opposite all your base are belong to us. This one, however, beats even that in incredible moment stakes. Because digitised voices were still quite novel in 1992 when the X-Men game first hit arcades, so we were all appropriately blown away by this impressive technological leap and were equally blown away by how much they cocked it up. So imagine all of our collective surprise when, upon encountering the master of magnetism Magneto himself, we're challenged to a boss fight with the immortal words, X-Men, welcome to die, oh Eric. In fact, this moment has become so infamous that it's even been referenced in other titles like Marvel vs. Capcom 3, where the famous words are spoken to Magneto by who else? Deadpool. Number 8. Dumpster Grenade – Half-Life 2 – Episode 2 In a great example of developers having to keep themselves entertained as well as the end user, this is something of a non-accident accident. When players of the fantastic Half-Life 2 Episode 2 came across a big American-style dumpster which appears to house a headcrab zombie, the obvious course of action was to chuck in a grenade and take care of the creepy critter. So imagine players' surprise when the grenade was thrown straight back out again. Yes, that's right, in an entirely unexpected turn of events, the headcrab zombie does what more enemies should probably do in this game and launches the grenade right back at the player. The story behind this iconic moment was actually revealed by programmer Kerry Davis in the game's commentary track. It transpires that the devs were just as surprised as the players when they first stumbled upon this grenade tennis because it was a total accident. It was a glitch as opposed to an intentional scripted event. But finding it hilarious, however, the developers took this complete fluke of a moment and actually programmed it in to the game's final code. Number 7. I Am Error – Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link much like Magneto's Welcome to Die, this moment taken from the divisive, different, and decidedly difficult Zelda II The Adventure of Link was born of a mistranslation, but since has taken on a whole new life of its own. Upon arrival in a small town named Ruto, Link comes across a strange, Brian Blessed-looking chap standing alone in a large room. If you attempt to speak to this guy, the player is met with a speech box stating, I am error. So we're left with two options here. Either he was an unplanned child named uncomfortably literally by his parents or something else was up behind the scenes. The original Japanese line that he said was Ore no na wa erada, meaning my name is error. And the game also features a character named Bagu, which essentially is software bug in Japanese. So we get error and bug. And it turns out that this was supposed to be an in-joke by the developers, but given the notoriously unreliable nature of Japanese to English translation, the joke was screwed up and its meaning completely lost on us Western types. Number 6. Kratos forgets his own son's name? God of War 2018 
Aside from the novel one continuous shot presentation, the visceral gameplay, and the truly wonderful graphics, fans of the 2018 God of War took one defining feature to heart, Kratos' insistence on calling his son Boy. Debate has raged ever since as to the origin of this seemingly quite cold naming convention. I mean, does Kratos just not care enough to use Atreus' actual real name? Does it show how laconic and pithy the Spartans were as a people? Does it speak to some wider trauma inflicted upon Kratos' fragile psyche, rendering him unable to even recall the given name of his heir. The game's director, however, Corey Barlog, has offered a much more sobering, all-too-real-world reason for his decision. You see, the developers simply couldn't come up with a good enough name for the child, but they still had to record the dialogue on schedule. Intending to have voice actor Christopher Judge go back and re-record some of the lines of dialogue once the name was finalised, the developers instead left in the majority of the boy references, realising that this actually had much more impact and effectiveness pretty much just as the fans did. Number 5. Horsin' Around – Red Dead Redemption Red Dead Redemption, while a true classic of a game, was not without its fair share of bugs, glitches, and utter hilarity. Most notable of these were the horse glitches, from which memes are plenty have sprung up and memorable moments captured and immortalised on YouTube. One in particular stands head and shoulders above all of the other ones though, Marston riding into town on the back of a nice upstanding folk instead of a horse. If you can find it on YouTube, it is an absolute riot to watch even today. Marston whistles for his trusty steed and upon hearing the signal, some random NPC turns up instead of his horse. Rather than dismiss said townsfolk and call out again for his equine companion, Marston instead mounts the human, and that sounded much better on paper, and proceeds to ride off as usual. All that's missing from this Monty Python-esque stupidity is the clacking coconut shells. Number 4. The Fog – Silent Hill one of the most memorable, most enduring, and most unsettling aspects of the original Silent Hill games was the atmosphere. The creatures were pure nightmare fuel, the sound design was very eerie in the extreme, but arguably just as haunting to the player was indeed the fog. The abundance of this dense grey mist obscuring from view the source of those creepy ass noises added to the oppressive tension of the moment to moment gameplay. Players couldn't see three feet in front of their noses and could easily lose their bearings in the foggy streets, helping to differ differentiate Silent Hill from other notable third-person survival horrors of the day. But it was far from a day-one design decision, because it actually was born out of a technological necessity. Unable to crank out enough power from the PlayStation to realise their original vision for Silent Hill, the developers instead decided to blanket the game world in a dense fog to hide the fact that they couldn't actually render the full 360-degree surroundings quickly enough using the available hardware. Far from being a hindrance, however, the fog proved so popular with players that it was actually kept in for the sub subsequent releases, well, excluding the HD remaster which uh, weirdly removed them. Good going, Konami. Number 3. The Dead Speak – Grand Theft Auto San Andreas In games the size and complexity of those found in the legendary Grand Theft Auto series, things are always going to fall through the cracks and can be missed by even the most stringent of quality control, which almost makes you wonder whether this was left in on purpose. You see, there's a particular restaurant in GTA San Andreas which seems to be able to bring people back to life or at least allow them to speak. The player can, in true GTA style, shoot all hell out of the establishment, destroying pots, pans, and punters alike. However, should the player then wander through the scene of the crime, something truly macabre begins to happen. Stray too close to the carnage and bump into an unfortunate victim slumped over a table soaked in blood, and they will, although clearly dead, tell you off. Responding with typical, hey, watch it, or similar utterance will be pretty common when barging through the crowded city streets, but here it's hilarious and straight up creepy hearing those disembodied voices emanating from the blood-splattered seating areas. Number 2. Demon Babies – The Sims 4 all the best accidents, mistakes, glitches, and quirks actually revolve around pure horror, it seems. Say hello to The Sims 4 and the Demon Babies. The internet is now saturated with images, videos, and stories and GIFs relating to the nightmarish Hellspawn, which the game classified as babies at one point. Owing to a glitch which was somehow present in the final retail version of the game, babies were, for want of a more suitable word, born with frying pans for bodies, hands that looked like the product of the illegitimate splicing of Lady Deathstroke and Reed Richards, and eyes which protruded on foot-long stalks. 
Some players at the time reported that it was possible to get around these horrific and hilarious glitches by increasing the age of their child, but who would want to when they look like this? I mean, it's utterly hilarious. It's a baby with a toaster for a torso, a gaping black maw where its eyes should be, and three foot long silver fingers. That's an absolute medical marvel. As you might expect, this has long since been patched out by EA, who I'm surprised didn't actually charge us for the privilege, which was at once a huge relief and also a massive, massive shame. And number one, enemy speed, Space Invaders. Everyone over the age of 30 has either played or at least heard of Space Invaders. Arguably as famous as Pac-Man and Donkey Kong, Space Invaders was a massive success back in the early 80s. Armed with a trusty laser cannon, the premise was to defeat wave after wave of terrifying aliens as they descended down the screen towards the player. With each successive wave dispatched by the plucky player, the remaining aliens' movements sped up, making it harder to keep them at bay and ramping up the challenge as the game went on. And here's the thing though, the game's creator, Tomohiro Nishi Kaido originally struggled to make Space Invaders playable, as microcomputers in the 1970s were simply not up to the task. In spite of his best efforts, he could not translate his vision into reality exactly as intended, because the enemy movement was, to his mind at least, painfully slow. He eventually noticed, however, that the remaining enemies sped up as their counterparts were defeated, as the removal of their sprites freed up processing power, and the game that we all know and love was born. So yeah, thanks to a mistake, we got one of the most defining video games of the entire industry. Cheers. And there we go, my friends. Those were 10 incredible video game moments created by pure accident. I hope you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below. If you want to chat to me further, you can do so over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero, or you can swing by Live and Let's Dice. It's my personal gaming channel where I stream every single Wednesday and Sunday. But before I go, I just want to say one thing. We detail today a lot about video game accidents. You know what? In real life, we will end up making a fair few of those ourselves. But please, my friend, please do not punish yourself for mistakes of the past. We all make them. No one is is perfect. Learn to forgive yourself and others if you have the capacity to do so. Go out there with love in your hearts instead of hate, and you will find that maybe accidents won't be made again in the future if you surround yourself with love, family, and friends. And you deserve all bloody three. As always, I've been Jules. You've been awesome. Never forget that. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.